Yo, what's going on guys? It is JT Judgment here. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are watching this video. And as always guys, welcome back to the channel today for another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Legend review in the form of the 90 rated Dutch striker Ruud van Nistelrooy. That's right guys, we've got a 90 rated legend to look at today. So let's jump into it and see if he is worth his current price tag of about 140 to 150,000 coins. So when you look at his stats on the card guys, 84 pay 89 shooting, 68 on the passing, 76 on the dribbling, 33 defending, and 66, or 76, my apologies guys, it's 76 on the physical. You look at his in-game stats guys, 93 attack position in 92 reactions, 90 composure, 86 on the acceleration, 94 on the finishing, 91 on the head and accuracy, 90 on the penalties, and 89 on the shot power, to name a few of the better in-game stats that Van Nistelrooy does possess in this game. So we've gone through the stats now guys and Van Nistelrooy he looks like an okay card you know nothing really too special for a 90 rated legend he definitely could be better. So what did I think of him guys he was to be honest guys he was barely okay you know he wasn't he, he really wasn't anything special and it's not what I want to come away saying after using a 90 rated legend in Ultimate Team you know if you use a legend regardless of their rating you want to be impressed you know you want to come away from using that card thinking wow I don't want to stop using this card in my team because he was absolutely outstanding you know and seeing as Van Nistelrooy is a 90 rated player it really did baffle my mind as to why he performed so bad for me you know I did find quite a few weaknesses with this card but I'll go through the strengths to get them out of the way there's only three that I need to mention one of which was his pace he does have 84 pace on the card now I did use him in the Hawk chemistry style giving him a boost from 84 pace to 90 one pace supposedly but he really did not feel like 91 pace guys he really didn't feel that quick for me he felt like what 84 pace should feel like you know if that's fast enough for you for your strikers then you won't be disappointed with his pace he's got decent strength guys I did come up against Chris Smallin a hell of a lot of times while using Van Nistelrooy and I think we all know how OP that card is a very 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 strong center back and Van Nistelrooy actually did hold his own against that card quite a few times guys so his strength is one of the very few things that surprised me with this card in a good way and moving on to the final strength now with this card and that is his aerial ability he is definitely uh, the sort of player that I would recommend using only as a target man you know just use him in a formation like a 4-3-3 or a 4-3-2-1 you use him as a solo striker with very very pacey wingers either side of him just run down the wing and just cross the ball in constantly and he will score you quite a few headed goals guys that is for damn sure definitely one of the best ways to get the best out of this card that is for damn sure so that moves me on to his weaknesses now guys get ready because there are a few one of which is his dribbling and ball control oh my days guys i was expecting it to be bad after looking at his in-game stats and his card face stats but jesus christ guys it was absolutely terrible you know i was getting the ball to the feet of van nistelrooy i was moving the left trigger to you know turn direction and actually just move and he felt so slow and sluggish on the ball it was absolutely unbelievable how bad this guy's dribbling was for me you know he's easily one of the worst if not the worst dribbler that I have used in FIFA 17 Ultimate Team for me guys he was absolutely awful another weakness guys is his passing now I do realize that a lot of people don't really look for passing in a striker you want them to be finishing your goals rather than setting them up but for reviewing purposes guys I do need to mention it in the video and Van Nistelrooy's passing for me was just dreadful you know constantly giving the ball away and his ball control is very very poor ball control causing him to lose possession many times for me really didn't help that fact guys so passing for me was horrendous his positioning for me was very inconsistent as well he does have medium attacking and low defensive work rate and he also has 93 attack positioning when you look at his in-game stats guys but for me he was all over the place you know he really was seeing as I'm not somebody that constantly runs down the wing and constantly crosses into the box I was looking for him guys constantly to go on runs and just to test out what this card could do and 
I was constantly thinking to myself, right, let's pass it round. Wait a minute, where's Van Nistelrooy? Where's he gone? Where's he run off to? You know, I was constantly looking for him, guys, and it was just really, really frustrating. So for me, guys, definitely a major weakness if you are thinking of buying this card for yourself. And the final weakness, guys, is his shooting, and that is shooting with either foot. He's got three star skills and three star weak foot. It felt like a one star. If a player could have one star weak foot, then this is what it felt like. It was absolutely horrendous how bad this card's weak foot was. He was missing very, very simple opportunities, guys. And when he actually did hit them on target, lo and behold, guys, what did he do? He hits it right at the goalkeeper, making it so freaking easy for the goalkeeper to pick it up. And then he has possession and it's just downhill from there, you know? So weak foot for me, absolutely dreadful. And his shooting with his right foot really wasn't any better. You know, his shooting it was very, very inconsistent. I could go into one game, he was challenging keepers for me consistently. I go into the very next game and he was hitting nothing but the post and the crossbar. You know, very, very, very inconsistent. And it's definitely not something that I was looking for in a card with 89 shooting. That is for damn sure. He also has 94 finishing in game, guys, but it really didn't feel like it for me. He missed so many easy, simple goals. It was very, very frustrating. So bottom line, guys, I've got to say personally, in my opinion, judging from what he was like for me, I've got to say, even though he cost about 140 to 150,000 coins right now, which for a 90 rated legend is a fantastic price, you can definitely get a better player for your team for that price right now for a legend striker, guys. But that is just my opinion. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. If you have used Rude Van Nistelrooy yourself in FIFA 17 Ultimate Team, drop this video a like, guys. If you did enjoy, subscribe today for more content to come soon. And as always, most importantly, please take care. And I will see you all next time. Ta-da, guys.